what was determined? What was in the findings of facts uh, that you can bring to light here? Well, what this boiled down to, and and the Sixers have been aware of, of this information now for a few days, um, the, the, the burner accounts that are in question, the four of them, uh, they were established and operated by Brian Colangelo's wife. Mm. Um, th- this has been suspected for uh, over a week now, and really since this broke, it, it, it immediately you start to think about family members, and his wife immediately became uh, a prime target of this investigation. So um, they, they traced it back. Um, they confronted her with it. She actually admitted to all of it. Um, the question over the last 24 to 48 hours that I've been told the Sixers were wrestling with and um, even the law firm was was how involved and what knowledge did Brian Colangelo have? And even if he didn't have any knowledge, could the Sixers, for lack of a better word, you know, divorce him from the actions made uh, by his wife? And, and ultimately, uh, they concluded that they could not. These, that these tweets, uh, information in it that was both a little reckless and, and certainly sensitive when it came to some medical information. Um, hmm. it, it was it was simply not – you simply couldn't separate Colangelo from the things his wife did. Wow, Chris. There's no other way to put it. Just wow. Um, it is it is Rick, the most bonker story that I've ever – in my time covering the NBA. Bonker story. We're cutting in and out right there. Is that what you said? Bonkers? Uh, just the most bonker story I've ever covered. So, um, I guess when it all comes down to it, um, the Sixers sitting down Colangelo and figuring this stuff out, they could not determine what 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 role he had in this. The the, the law firm couldn't do that at all. They, when it all came they down. couldn't they couldn't determine if he had knowledge of these accounts existence prior to this report coming out. Um, they they understood that that he was aware of it, of course, after the fact. But he strenuously denied any knowledge of it beforehand. Now, there's there's not a lot of people in the NBA that really believe that. Rich, um, you know, four accounts like this being in existence, the number of tweets that were put out there, it, you're hard pressed to find too many people that believe he was completely ignorant to to all of it. But they couldn't find any proof, and and that was their 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 findings. There, they did find enough evidence to suggest that Colangelo as they put it, was careless and in some cases reckless with pretty sensitive information. And that's in reference to some of the medical stuff that was out there about Jaleel Okafor and certainly Markel Fultz. Is it true that uh, according to the findings of facts that uh, Colangelo's wife's phone was factory reset, wiped clean when it was handed in for the investigation? <laughs> I, I, that I don't know. That that's, th- There's a lot of stuff out there right now um, that, that's speculative, but uh, I don't know where, you know, about that stuff. All right, then let's turn the page here, Chris, because this, you know, it, it it's, when you say bonkers, it's also deeply personal, right? I mean, it, it, you can't get more personal than this sort of thing, but it did, it did mess with the business of the Philadelphia 76ers at the end of the day. Uh, David Griffin clearly uh neat is uh is a general manager with experience with a ring with a ring for lebron who is going to be a free agent again on july 1st is that the uh no-brainer choice here for Phil? Uh, i i i think it is and and i'm i'm writing a column about that this topic right now i mean they, the sixers in a press conference they said that you know this process could take you know a month it could bleed into july that that's insane to me i mean there are some good candidates out there internally there's someone named Mark Eversley who's a, a, a very respected guy. They could talk to him. Certainly there are other executives out there to talk to. But David Griffin is a home run choice. I mean, putting aside the, the LeBron part of it, Rich, and, and, and that, I don't think that would be a big factor, if any, in, in hiring him. This guy built the championship team. And you can say, well, he built a team with LeBron around it. It's not easy to have limited assets and find guys – like Kyle Korver and J.R. Smith and Iman Shumpert and, and make all those pieces work. J- David Griffin is a high-level GM. A- and not as importantly, but somewhat important, he's also a really engaging guy. He's media-friendly, does media now in, his, in the last couple of years since leaving, uh, last year since leaving Cleveland. You kind of need someone in place to do damage control. And in addition to being a terrific executive, he's a guy that would – you know, put out a lot of fires that are around this Philadelphia organization right now. So 
if they're not calling him every hour, every day, they're making a mistake. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.